Have you ever wondered what makes a rainbow possible and why you're able to see yourself in the mirror? It all has to do with how light works. Light rays travel in a straight path until they come in contact with an object. When they come in contact with an object, they either get absorbed, bounce back, bend, or pass from one medium to another. You can use the Pirate R acronym to help you remember how light rays behave. Light rays can either be absorbed, be reflected, or be refracted. When a light ray bounces off of an object, we call this reflection. Objects with a smooth and shiny surface like metal, glass, and water are great reflectors of light. Whenever light rays bounce off of a mirror and enter your eyes, you can see your reflection. Light rays can also be transmitted from one medium to another and pass through objects that are clear, transparent, like glass and water. When light rays are transmitted and pass from one medium to another, light rays are bent and the speed of light changes, causing an object to appear distorted. We call this refraction. Refraction occurs when light rays bend after they're transmitted and pass from one medium to another. An example of this is when light energy is transmitted from air to water or a glass medium. These two mediums affect the light rays in different ways. When they travel through air, they follow a straight path. But when they pass through water or enter a medium such as glass, they're refracted and bent as the speed of light slightly changes. A prism is a uniquely cut piece of glass that refracts and reflects white light into its individual colors. These colors are called the light spectrum. White light is composed of the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Rainbows are a combination of refracted and reflected light. When light rays strike water molecules, some of the light is reflected and some is refracted. This means that the colors that make up light are separated and we're able to see them individually. You get the same effect if you pass light through a crystal. The crystalline structures inside of the crystal work like water molecules as they refract light into separate colors and we see the color spectrum. When light hits an object and stops, it is absorbed by the object. Absorbed light energy stops and no longer travels through mediums. An example of this is when light energy from the sun hits your skin. Some light rays are absorbed by your skin, while other rays bounce back into different directions. And if you're perspiring, some light rays can even be refracted. When light energy passes through a lens, it is refracted. When the lens is rounded, it refracts light in a way that can make things appear larger or smaller depending on the lens type. Some lenses can even refract light by compacting it to a single powerful point, just like a laser. Let's review what we've learned. Light rays travel in a straight path. You can use the Pirate R acronym to help you remember how light rays behave. Light rays can either be absorbed, be reflected, or be refracted. When they hit a shiny, smooth surface, light rays are reflected. An example of this is a reflection in a mirror. When light rays hit a solid object, some energy is absorbed and some is reflected. When light rays pass through a prism or through water molecules, they reflect and refract light into the color spectrum. 
The color spectrum consists of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Light energy that passes through a lens or water is refracted because the speed of light slightly changes when a light ray is transmitted from one medium to another. Some lenses make things appear larger or smaller than they actually are. A series of lenses or a powerful lens can refract light and compact it to a single point that can burn through things just like a laser. That's all for now. See you next time. Thank you.